Well, good morning. Back when I first got my car, I was kind of curious on how auto steer would handle tight turns whose suggested speed was much lower than the actual speed limit. And so I took it on a place on our lake and I made a video that it did really well on the first few turns, but then the others were a mixed bag. Some were very exciting and some of them it almost got. Somebody commented on that video that FSD would be able to handle that just fine. And I thought yesterday after doing my Costco run and back and noticing how well it did on those sorts of slower turns that this would be a non-issue. But then we took a drive that same night that I did the Costco run and we came back at night. Uh, it was still dusk, but it was pretty dark. And we took that section of road that I did in the extreme autopilot video. And my first impression was that it was much worse than auto steer was. So this is what the same course looks like using FSD instead of auto steer. I'm really curious as to how this is going to turn out. Oh, look at all the turkeys. Anyway, we came in the other night and uh, it was a disaster. My impression was it was far worse than Wow. It was disengaging on turns and taking turns too tight and too fast. And it's, uh, so it had me rethinking about redoing it. So here we are again, this time during the day, to see if that makes a difference, to see how well it does the lake drive here. And uh, the challenge here, obviously, is that there's a bunch of slower suggested speed turns on a 50 mile an hour road. Well, it's 45 here, I guess now. But uh, let's see how well it does. It did those first two just great and avoided hitting that guy. Pretty morning. Okay, this one's tighter than it looks. I think it disengaged coming out of this one the other night. So far we're fine, no problem at all. We saw the other night. This is encouraging, really encouraging. I was dismayed the other night. I thought, oh my gosh, autopilot works better than FSD. They're two different strategies, so it's possible there'll be situations where that could be the case. But look at this. This is just great. Wow. Okay, we did hit the center line there for a bit. And even though the speed limit is 45 through here, we just set the center line again. This is a kind of a resort area. You can see how close the houses are to either side. I. Uh, I don't know how in the world, I mean eventually it will, but I don't know how AI judges, hey this is a neighborhood, you really shouldn't be going 50 through here. Um, but at some point I think it will have to realize that. Maybe if there were people out it would realize it now. It is earlier in the morning, it's not even 9 a.m. yet. Okay, let's see if it slows down for this turn. Wow, it's doing these really well. Very much not what I expected after we took this same road at night the other night. But I'm very pleased to see it. Yeah, this has got me excited actually. It's real progress. Okay, what's it going to do for this car? Good. 
as I've mentioned before, autopilot would have seen that way too late, then put the brakes on way too hard, and then waited way too long to adjust its speed to reaccelerate again. But that was perfect. I mean, literally perfect. Well, this is not much of a challenge anymore because he'll just follow the car in front of us. So I guess I'll just say goodbye and thanks again for watching. If you like these sort of things and you want to see progress on FSD, then please like and subscribe. And until later, happy travels.